All right, my friends, the time has come. So this video has been highly anticipated and highly expected by all, all my followers because they know what I'm like when I don't understand anything. And in this case, this is one of them cases. This is probably going to be one of the hardest things I have to do. I know this may sound silly to people who know what they're talking about, but to me, this is completely alien. So I thought I'd bring you in. Again, like I said, everything's still fully boxed. Haven't touched a thing. Um, I've done a lot of research and no matter how many videos I've watched, I must have watched about 300 videos already. I think I know what I'm doing and then I'll see another guy doing it in a different way with the same setup anyway, and it'll just take me back to square one. So let's do it. That's the best way. So obviously you've seen the unpacking video. Um, well, not the unpacking, but the introduction to the podcast. So basically what this is going to achieve for me, let me get this because this was a recent purchase as well. So I'll hide this for now, but what this is going to achieve for me is this is going to be the best system on the market for podcasting. So basically all the top players within the game who are podcasting are using this. Um, certainly the mics anyway, this as well. So this is the Zoom H6. So you can have up to four microphones at any one time going to it. So this is going to achieve my podcasting dream. So basically you're going to have super long content with me and I can really dive in because I know there's a lot of people, especially the members who've kind of bought pretty much everything I have now and they really want more of the inside scoop, more of the inside scoop. And this is where I think the magic of Yum Cars really is, is there's no company within Europe, I believe, that nobody's doing as much detail as we are here. So this will just elevate that bar even further and people just will not be able to keep up. Obviously, I've got the, I've got the amazing camera. Again, that's probably an upgrade as well. I don't really need to, but I want to. So what you're watching me on is I've got an A6400, so again, between 800 to 1,000 pound body camera, depends where you buy it, obviously. Uh, you've got the Sigma lens, again, Sigma's from Japan, so one of the best lenses in, kind of in the world. This is a prime lens, so there's no zoom on it. So basically the zoom is your hand. You kind of zoom the camera with your body motions. But when again, I want something like the A7S Mark IV, that is probably the pound for pound king for videography anyway. But then again, if you can't Google A7, uh, A7S Mark IV, it is, yeah, it's expensive. So that probably come in the next couple of months. But with this as well, the reason I've hit this, so I'm gonna show you. So this is something that will elevate me even further when I was talking about the podcasting. So this will allow me to go live onto YouTube. So obviously with the YouTube setup, we're gonna go directly onto this screen here. And we're gonna use this as a complete set. So with the live YouTube in, this again, this comes with a bloody ton of wires that again, we've got micro to super micro and all these stupid micros, which I don't understand. But this basically, um, I will use that screen more as, a, as a, a reference point, especially when I get Kelly in here to be kind of my co-presenter, let's call it. She can read the questions out. But with live YouTube podcasts, what you will get the opportunity to do um, is basically you can ask me live direct questions, as in we're going to be speaking like we are now live TV, basically questions, all that sort of stuff. And again, super long content. And the beauty of that is you can actually re-engage with the conversation whereas right now i've got a certain script in my head what, of what i'm going to do but then you can throw me a curveball and we can keep kind of talking awesome stuff anyway what i'm going to do first is i'm going to get the mic out the way so again if you're not sure this is the sure um, sm7b uh, microphone regarded apparently again i'm i'm all going about the apparent as the best podcaster microphone money can buy. We will soon see. So the whole goal of this video, one second. Yes. 
at one point when this is all set up, again, I'm going to have to keep cutting the camera off to kind of test the mics and stuff. But the whole goal is one at the end of this video, hopefully I'm going to click my fingers like this and the sound should just be a complete transformation. So the usual stuff, which I'm not going to read now. Right. So I'm going to try and keep everything as uniform as I can, guys. And hopefully this video will be uh, a good kind of evergreen content as a call on YouTube. So this video will age, I think, very nicely because for anybody who will watch this and eventually want to start approaching the search and stuff within YouTube, I am the worst guy doing this right now. So hopefully if any of you will eventually want to do a podcast, you will see someone from, uh, I'm completely useless at this. So hopefully this will really help you out. So yeah, with the boom pole system, I didn't want to kind of touch it for now because I want to see first set it up like a mobile rig almost so I can decollapse it and erect it again as and when I need to. So this has been, again, this is one of those, I will say it's less expensive than a boom pole setup. And again, what you'll see now, it's just perfect. So it's a nice base. By the way, these things weigh an absolute ton. So the mic weighs enough to go and hurt someone. This looks like a weight plate. I think we should start doing workouts, but yes. So this will screw in almost on the inlet of the mic or on the base of the mic. I dealt with pressure washers too long when I call the base of the mic the inlet. <laughs> so yeah, this is a mobile rig basically. And I'm gonna kind of use this first. I'm gonna get the sound right. I'm gonna probably use it up to 10 times. And then after that, I'll be like, right, I'm happy with this. Let's rock and roll, basically. Uh, this is one of these newer, kind of whatever they're called. Like a cover for the microphone. But this is the one. Look at that. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a close-up. There it is. There's the thing of beauty. Look at that. Check one, two. <laughs> So again, we'll get this on. All right, so there is the number one setup, okay? Mike's live, I'm well, not live, but it's on, it's on the thing. Whatever the hell these numbers mean in the back, I do not yet know. But again, see, fully height adjustable. And this is the beauty of this. You know, when I was talking to you about the whole, um, kind of the boom pole setup with this. I can move further back, all that kind of good stuff. So that's, there's number one. Again, this comes from the mic, so I'm gonna just keep it for now because I don't know what this does. Again, this I won't use. I will look too much like a Sky News reporter. Right, so as far as I know, and I wish this was live because I know a lot of tech people follow me and they're probably able to help. So from the camera, I'm going to record. So obviously I've got um, a standalone 250 gig. So it's a SanDisk Extreme Plus black, whatever. Um, so this will go into the camera for the sound element of this. So obviously I've got, these are called, whatever they're called, XLRs. Yeah, so XLR to XLR. So. This is, no, in fact, we won't do this. So again, this is where the sound gets recorded into. Now, like I was saying, this will be the hardest thing I do because this alone is hard, right? And I've already had a tech guy come in here, actually last week, and even he said he's not sure how we're gonna do this setup, which again, will be awesome for recording onto obviously a camera, um, editing it and kind of putting it onto the YouTube sphere. That's fairly easy once we get this done but it's how to do this setup live because how's the because if the sound's being recorded to a memory card in the camera you watch me from we can sync the sounds in in Final Cut Pro now because we're not doing that we're going directly onto the TV directly onto your screens at home 
uh, yeah, and this is where I start to twitch a bit because there's no videos like I'm filming right now on YouTube to set this up. So, yeah. So here is the Zoom. It's six, is it? It's six, yeah. So this is the thing that's going to really kill me. Um, now I'm looking at the instructions and I'm going to try and do a daisy chain style connection. So the battery's already in and it's given me a little instruction manual. As you can see that there, there's the instructions to how how to kind of wire this up. So I just want to try it first because once I know something's working, I'm going to try and cut out. I mean, obviously it says here PA mixer. We don't have a mixer, we don't need it. Um, this microphone that attaches to the top, we also don't need it because we've got this. So this is kind of obsolete really. Um, but in fact, I've made a mistake of buying too many micro HDMIs, but I reckon in this case, I think this would have been perfect so yeah and obviously I've just turned this on just to have a look it's saying insert um, insert HD card or SD card but if I can go direct into the camera I don't know um, so this is the first XLR cable right see I, I always do this because I've only bought two, I thought, ah, you know, but if I need three now, because I ordered these online from a high-tech store, I may be a little bit stuffed. If, let's say, you need three and I've only got two. Right, so, so if, let's just do this like the diagram is telling me. So I'm gonna put, obviously, we're gonna put one of these In here right check and then on this camera we're going to put it into output three <laughs> if you're a tech guy and you're watching this please don't laugh too hard right well so as far as I'm aware in terms of miking systems this should, obviously I'm, in fact, I'm going to make this dirty for now right that's one. And obviously, to keep an eye on our sound levels, um, we're going to do this. So obviously, this is the this is the Sennheiser headphone set. Again, meant to be the ones for uh, podcasting. If I shave my hair, I might just look like Joe Rogan. Right, so mic's done, headphones are done. Now, I'm gonna take these off because I can now, I've got two things left to do. I need to plug it directly into my computer and one, in fact, no, I have missed one. Right, so I definitely knew I had to have two. So this is a cloud lifter, so I'm not going to talk about specs because I'll probably not tell you something that I'm meant to tell you. So I'll leave that out. But as far as I know, this is designed for, because this is such a powerful microphone, it's phantom power, whatever it uses. So basically, I need to do an in-between. So this is what this looks like, if you're interested. This is called a cloud lifter, highly recommended, imported from the States. Now, this is definitely why... I bought two XLRs because I'm going to have to do an in-between connection. So what I would do, let me unplug my headphones. So basically the way this works is I need to put, oh dear, is this male to male? No. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Um, so this goes in like this, yeah, God, I almost had a heart attack, almost. This goes into the female end, I believe. So obviously this is going to boost, this is um, an 
audio amplifier. So let's say, so you can kind of see a chronological order of what I'm doing. So it'll go into this system and then you get your secondary XLRs and plug it into the Zoom H6. Super duper audio recorder being hacked to bits by yours faithfully, Nick Britton. Right, so again, so in case I'm gonna, as I said, I'm gonna try the daisy chain first because I want to see, because this, I need to set up a system that's gonna allow me to go live as well. The easiest way right now would be for me to put my SD card um, in here as well. Obviously SD cards in the camera already and do it, boom, done, right? That's probably the easiest thing and I can be done with it, but I'm already thinking of, because I'm gonna do a live as soon as I can, probably the first available weekend. So I'm gonna, obviously, um, this should switch over directly. <clears throat> so basically, this is a very weird experience for me right now. As you can probably hear through the camera, the voice and the recording has completely changed. Now, I almost forgot to plug this in in terms of the headphones, but I now know, <laughs> I know now when you watch any big podcaster, why they wear their headphones, because I can literally hear myself, hello, I can hear myself through the headphones, which is really cool. Now again, excuse the mess, this is literally, my, I've just left everything out. So basically, if you're watching this now and you want to set up a podcast or you're watching this in the future and you're setting up a podcast, what I'm going to show you is the dumbed down Nick Britton version of how to do this. Now, again, this will kind of, if I'm doing um, a non-live video, I'm going to probably change the setup a bit and I'll explain to you how I will do this. But as it stands, obviously, I've got the show SM7B mic. I've got one XLR cable going out, goes into the cloud buster or the cloud lift kind of system, and another XLR which takes it out into the zoom, right? So that is pretty much it. So I need to then, if you're doing a non kind of, if you're doing like a streaming channel or you're doing an in depth explanation, you can in here like this, you can plug in an SD card and then you can press record. Now, if I can press record now, it'll say no SD card. So if you do have an SD card like this in the side, it will start recording the audio as a completely different file. So when you go into your editing software of choice, which is for me, um, Final Cut Pro, you'll put two SD cards and you'll get two files, video file, obviously this, and a sound file, this, and then you can just sync them and off you go. Now, what's interesting is instead of putting the SD card in, because you could see it's out, I've got an extension. So what is it, a 3.5 mil, just so you know. This is a 3.5 stereo audio extension cable. So obviously there's a line here. And by the way, the instructions, I could have, honestly, I'm gonna, send them an email because it's really good for someone like me who's an absolute dumb dum in this. So basically they've actually showed you pictures where you put in everything for each kind of piece of hardware. So with this again, like I said, this is the official Rode kind of microphones cable. I just decided to go. So as I was saying, I've gone for the original um, Rode cable. So I don't think it is kind of necessary. So I'll read you this in case you are like me and you get confused. So it's a 3.5 mil, which by the way, if you Google it, it is probably the most universal kind of size into the side of the cameras. Audio extension cable, two core, blah, 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 blah all that crap. Um, the Rode VC1, which is what this is. Extension cable can also be used with the Rode VXLR for 3.5 mini jack conversion to XLR output. Obviously XLR cables are these um, horrible looking things. 
so yeah I've gone directly into the camera and I've pressed record um, no wrong I didn't press record I literally <laughs> I turned this side on let me just make sure hello oh hello 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 yeah as you can hear there so I've turned it on and I can see on the output I'm on number five but you can see a bar jumping now look I'm going to keep talking and as you can hear the sound gets quieter and it gets louder and basically that's it it's recording directly to the camera with one memory card so in like all my normal videos you will see me wear like a, in fact there's a road here I need to take this off so obviously this is the one that I go kind of like a wireless setup when you see me kind of washing cars and stuff and it will hopefully I haven't seen this video yet in, in in Final Cut Pro but hopefully it will come up as one audio file like this it'll have the video element and it'll have the audio element and I can just chop and change it as I need to so now you know how to do this it's actually easier than I expected it's a bit more stressful when I'm filming I probably could have done this in about five minutes if that um, I'm going to be playing around with the settings of course but as far as I can hear through my headphones I sound very nice but please do let me know in the comments how I sound please feedback believe it or not even if you say I sound crap I'd rather you tell me that because then um, obviously I can change the settings now the next thing I'm going to be working out this is so while I'm on the mic I'm going to be using this as an update <laughs> Um, so yeah, the, the next thing that I need to be working out is how to get this cam link working. Now, it looks fairly easy. Um, you've seen a ton of YouTubers going live. You've seen obviously all the um, all the Twitch streamers doing like a split screen. So it seems very easy. The same thing with this. It seemed very hard for like for me to kind of do this but I didn't realize of how easy it would be so this will probably be the same and this is why I overbought accidentally so HDMI cables to micro HDMI all of that like sort of stuff and again what is this here this is a USB A to a USB C so USB A is the big old school USBs that we used to get in school and stuff and them horrid computers and USB C obviously is what all my Apple kind of software runs on or kind of all the Thunderbolt ports so apparently this is a plug and play system up to 90 seconds and you're live on YouTube so if you do see a random no uh, no notification in an in the next week pop up saying your car is going live you'll probably see me jump live for about two seconds and then jump right back off it because I am kind of testing this but now I want to see one how to tidy this up because this looks horrific right I cannot in this place anyway have a dedicated kind of setup I may actually be able to I'm not yet sure so I might just extend this even further I don't know make a proper podcasting studio and that way I can drill through the countertops like um, here we had this option actually this company that we deal with um, for the cabinet they said look we can do whatever you want four holes one hole no hole um, but for now I want to see how I can tidy this up because again I've left this in a mess because I just wanted to jump right back on video and keep this as authentic as I could without trying to stage anything so yeah we're going to tidy up the wires somehow and then second of all once we know what kind of setup that we're doing in fact please let me know what you, th what you think on <clears throat> what you think on the actual the like the backdrop I think from what I can see on my inverted screen it looks really cool the quality obviously the camera is really top-notch quality so you're going to be seeing me in 4k 24 7 that could be an advantage or a disadvantage but yeah please again in the comments just let me know what you think is the backdrop good because I can obviously move it around I could probably go a little bit this way so I'm facing kind of the camera this way and you'll be able to probably see the screen but then again there's no need for you to actually see the screen that screen is for my reference point so if Kelly sat over there with her headphones 
then basically yeah it's kind of three questions but yeah that is pretty much it i think i have set up one of the best setups for sound that you can kind of buy yes it was expensive it cost me thousands of pounds and it's going to continue to cost me multiple more thousands of pounds but then again i want to kind of give you guys the best possible audio visual experience now um when we do upgrade the cameras again to the a7s mark 4 again that's going to probably cost with what i want anyway probably six seven thousand pounds and that will obviously elevate your experience even further even though the quality of the imagery will actually probably be the same i need to look at the specs um so obviously 4k 4k on both cameras but i think the bit rate on on the actual a7s is higher so i don't know what that exactly means in my simple language but i think it will in your screen kind of time it will elevate the experience depending if you have a nice tv or not because obviously if you've got a potato tv i could shoot in 40k and <laughs> um nothing's going to make the difference by the way i don't think anyone has a potato tv anymore but if you do then everything i've just said will not matter to you anyway and you will see me in a normal kind of resolution so i'm excited I want to kind of do the weekly, hopefully weekly live podcasts. I don't know how that's going to work, but if it is going to work, it's going to... Well, I'm going to start with one. I'm going to see the feedback. I do realize in terms of podcasting, yes, we almost got 3,000 views, um, almost 3,000 subscribers on YouTube, which from when I started last year sounds really odd because I started with zero. And then the first two subscribers were... Well, the first three subscribers were my mum, my dad, and Kelly. I don't know why Kelly subscribed to me, because he's with me 24-7, but I think it was to help. So, yeah, the first three subscribers were my personal kind of family. <laughs> it's actually weird, actually, thinking about this. but And then, obviously, we started to grow. But still, out of the 3,000, we still get a drop-off rate, like every other YouTuber does, unless the video goes viral. So, like, we did our How to Hand Polish at 2,000 subscribers, and it's currently sitting at 17,000. So, obviously, the algorithm has picked that video up specifically, and it's pushed to more people than actually subscribe to us. So, with the podcast, and what I'm trying to say is, podcasting will be a slow burner. It's not everybody's cup of tea, yes. I'm going to then upload the same live video with the super chats and all that stuff on the side of the screen where you can see people conversing with me onto a normal kind of video into youtube so if you are driving like so i love listening to podcasts so if i'm driving to london i'll put a bit of i don't know obsessed garage on or um joe rogan and just drive and listen it's it's educational and at the end of the day it kind of helps the journey go quicker so if you're that way inclined if you're like a truck driver you can listen to my podcast then. If you watch it live, even better, because I want more people to kind of in kind of converse with me. But then again, I probably think we're going to get, imagine, 10 people watching us live out of 3,000. If, if that's the case, that's the case. 10 people. Hopefully next week we're going to be 20 people, 40, 100, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, same with Instagram. They've dropped the algorithm yet again. I keep getting emails from the Instagram business team. We used to actually spend quite a lot of money with Facebook and Instagram, and we completely stopped it at one point because I was getting people from like um, Bangladesh like my photos to where I did the drop with within a 20 mile radio of Mansfield. So those people in complete foreign countries, I don't know how they see my content. So it's the same thing with Instagram. They've actually squeezed us really hard, but it's not just us. Um, obviously, I know people like Supercar Nigel, Harry, obviously all their friends, Yanni and kind of Carl Hartley and all these type of people. Even In fact, I think Carl Hartley even put on his Instagram, he's got 180-something thousand people. And he said, oh, like, has anyone's engagement dropped? Now, if you look at his kind of Instagram, at 180,000, he's getting 2,000 likes. Now, if you actually work out, like Google the normal engagement rates on Instagram, and I think the drop-off's about one to 2%, 2.5%, if you're lucky. 
sort of 180,000, 10%, uh, what is it called? 10%, 18,000, 1%, 1,800. And he was getting about 1,000 likes. Now, it seems impressive to get 1,000 likes per post. But for someone of his stature in terms of size, a thousand is actually completely under the engagement. And in us, what we're seeing at 10,000, 10% 10 is a thousand, 1% is a hundred, right? So we're averaging anywhere between 100 to 200 likes. Um, on some weird post, like I posted a picture of me and Kelly, and it got like 400 likes. And we were in shorts on a hill in Germany. So why the hell have we just all of a sudden times four our engagement? I know why, obviously more personal and all that sort of stuff, but still, you can't do all personal stuff on like on a business profile. So again, going back to the podcasting, what's going to happen? If we get a few people watching it, I'm still going to be ranting on, talking my own game. If you join, thank you so much. Please do join. The support helps. If anybody who is doing video will know how hard what I'm doing is, I'm not looking for sympathy, but still, it's very hard. So to get any sort of views is amazing. You know, if we get a thousand views on a video, I'm jumping because I realize you put a thousand people in a room with you and try and talk, you'll be super scared. Hello, I'm just still testing my mics. Yeah, you'll be super scared because a thousand people. So a thousand people on YouTube is a lot to watch. Even 10 people talking to you at the same time is quite a daunting experience. So please do watch it when it does go live. It will help me massively and just engage. Like I always say, please comment on the videos. Oh, did you hear that? I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything yet. What time is it? So yeah, please watch. Please comment. Please like it or dislike it. You know, just let me know either way. I mean, obviously, if you're going to do a stupid bonehead comment like, I don't like your hat then obviously it's, just, it's useless, isn't it? But just, just comment as much as you can. Watch the live. Again, we'll tidy all this sort of stuff up. The first few lives I'm going to do myself. Like I told you on the introduction to the podcasting thing I did at Christmas, I bought one of each. Well, I don't need a multiple of these yet. So, yeah, I bought one of everything, and I'll do the first couple myself. When I'm ready which will probably be like tomorrow, um, after I've edited this video and seen how the sound really sounds, I'll buy two of everything, minus the Zoom H6, and we're gonna get special guests on. So obviously me and Kelly are gonna be always on here, as and when I'm ready to get her on, and when she's comfortable, because I wanna learn the system myself. So if anything goes wrong with her mics, I'll know what's happening. So Kelly's gonna be a perfect addition. And then we're going to get special guests. Now, who the special guests are, I don't know. It's going to be literally, I'm going to choose who I want on my channel. So if people start applying saying, I'm going to, can I please come onto your channel? Probably not, unless I find you interesting. I'm sorry, but <laughs> it, it, it's true, because unless I can speak to you, then why the hell are you going to watch? So we're going to have special guests on as well, but usually the weekly podcasts will have me and Kelly and you're going to ask us all these questions and you're going to you can literally go deep as you want or as not deep as you want it really doesn't matter that's the whole point it's the in between right you see our posts on YouTube Instagram that's one thing but when you see us live is a whole different thing and you can literally access us literally through a screen to the best of your ability so I'm going to cut this off now I'm going to take this memory card out of the camera and actually check it instantly, see what it's like. Um, hopefully, I'm praying because I've talked so much crap right now. So if, if for the last five, ten minutes of me talking, if the audio is horrific, I hope it's not. But if it is, I'm going to have to reshoot the whole thing. Um, but anyway, hope you've enjoyed it. There was no chucking. Like I promised I'm going to chuck something against the wall. So far, I've chucked nothing, which is amazing for me. But hope you've enjoyed it. I, I expected this to be a lot harder than it is. It's actually not. So let's have a look. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys, and I will catch you hopefully very soon on a live platform on YouTube. I'll speak to you soon, guys. Cheers.